My uh, research is focused on understanding the dynamics of uh, frequently exploding volcanoes, and I'm focusing on a test uh, volcano, which is Sumeru in East Java. W one of the things that we are doing is measuring the uh, SO2 fluxes that are coming out, out of the exploding volcanoes. So SO2 is uh, sulfur dioxide, and it's one of the uh, main gases that come out of a volcano along with water and uh, carbon dioxide. So SO2 is dangerous to uh, population and people, and it's uh, lethal in big doses. And so we have tools to, to try and predict that, but they requ require uh, input of some parameters. And then we are also going to observe the volcano, and in particular the uh, flux of gases, the SO2 flux. The uh, characteristics with SO2 is that uh, when it's present in the atmosphere, it absorbs part of the UV light. And so we can measure that and relate that to just how much SO2 is in the atmosphere. There, there are multiple instruments to, to measure SO2, and they have um, advantages and uh, inconvenience for all these methodologies. And what we're trying to do is try and combine the advantages of two different methods uh, by building an instrument that um, did not exist before, which is comprised of uh, two cameras and then this uh, spectrometer that I showed you before. As a kid, I was fascinated by, by volcanoes in general. They're, like, it's easy to see how volcanoes can be fascinating. They're, they're so powerful and they're beautiful. The eruptions are beautiful, uh, and yet there's not a year that goes by where you don't hear about how many people they, they kill. And a lot of people uh, live in the shadow of a volcano that can uh, threaten their life. And so I, I thought it was very interesting, and I thought maybe I could do something about that, uh, about helping understand how volcanoes work and maybe how we can keep people uh, who live around them uh, safer.